There's a fresh cart. Okay, well, it has been a while since I have made the drive to Maryland, but today I am in Thurmont and I am sitting outside of the Goodwill. And we're about to head in and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. So here we go. All right, well, let's get right to work, shall we? It has been a long time since I was here last, actually. This is so adorable. I don't even know who makes this, but I like it. This is Colleen. This reminds me of a piece that I saw at Goodwill um, in Lemoyne not too long ago. I'm going to grab her. I like her. She's contemporary, I think. But she's a darling. Um, this is really sweet, too. I think you made that out of polymer clay. Um, I'm going to do a quick look through and then we'll go a little bit slower and just to see what I can find. There's a candy dish for $7.49. Eh, I like it. It's vintage. Let's check out the vases. What do you have for vases? There's a little carnival, $6.49. This is marigold. Looks like a tree bark pattern. There's not a super high resale value in that piece though. I think it would probably be eight to 12, maybe a little bit more. Not a whole lot of room there once you're looking at fees um, for a selling platform, so. That is Royal Gallery. Oops, it doesn't want to sit there. Oh my gosh, I hate these shelves. I can't, I'm just gonna lay it down because I don't want a repeat of that one time when something jumped off the shelf at me. All right. I'm not really seeing anything there. There is a small section for Christmas. There's, they have all their Christmas out, so we'll check that before we leave. I had to back up to check out these glasses. Are those old? I can't tell. Those are like Tom Collins. It looks like the Federal glass. They have the F in the shield. I think that would be Federal. I can't tell if those are old or not. I want to say they're vintage. I do kind of like those. I don't know, they're giving me summer vibes and I'm just, I'm in my sweatshirt, my sneakers. I'm not really feeling summer right now. Let's go around the corner here and see what we can find. Oh, stylized. Oh, that's a funny play on words, isn't it? Stylized. There's some vintage money. This like, this sells really well out of my booth this antique milk glass. I mean, it doesn't sell for a lot of money, but I move it pretty quickly through my booth. Ah, here we are. Because now I pick these up when I find them because one time I bought a Yankee Candle set and these actually go with Yankee Candle um, and I could not find one of these online because mine was missing a little hanger. And so now I know when I find those to pick them up because there's people out there like me who may not be able to find one. What is that? Let's get a closer look. It has a rooster on it. Oh, it's Bath and Body Works. What is it? I don't understand the purpose. It's kind of weird. He had my finger and his whole hand fit over my whole face. Right. His fingers are so long. It has a chip on it. That is a fun teapot. She needs to have her face cleaned off. Is she Japan? She is. She's Lipper and Man. She's supposed to be musical. I don't know if I want to mess with a musical teapot, to be honest. She's probably, if I was to guess, overwhelmed. Is there a 
mechanism here that I'm missing. Yeah, she's not gonna work. I don't really wanna mess with that. If she was just a teapot, I'd probably grab her, but um, she's not working. Las Vegas. That's traveled a good distance. I think this is vintage 249. It's all by its lonesome though. if it's a, a studio piece or if it's mass produced. If I had to guess, I'd say probably mass produced. Ooh, there's a fresh cart. What's the difference between vintage and old stuff? Uh, vintage? It's all the same. <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy. Oh my gosh. There's some art glass. And, okay. Huh? So they just filled out a fresh cart. Um, this is a nice vintage piece of glass. I'm not sure who makes that one. And then this is shard boxes made of broken pieces of pottery or porcelain. And they make them into little trinket boxes for $3.49. All right, well, I'm going to poke through this cart real quick and see what. Oh, look at this. That's fine. Ooh. Heavy. What is it? Times remembered. Things remembered. Things remembered. Nice. So much stuff. Um, so we don't mind here if you dig through the carts. Uh, during COVID, they did not allow it, but now they don't mind. Yeah, there's a lot of china. Oh my goodness. Little Alberts. I love this. Oh yeah. This is Francoma. Wooden yeah, shoe. Hold on. Even if I get this cleaned out, I'll try to get this cleaned out. Um, then if you have to, just leave it around. All right. Royal Veil. I feel like I've had that one before. Grab a tea cup and saucer. All right, well, I think I'm good so far. I think we're gonna go take a closer look at the shelves now that I've peeked over the fresh cart. That's always exciting. We did have some nice vintage pieces there. All right, so now I'm gonna give the shelves a more thorough look. I like to do that initial quick run through. Like three times in two weeks. Yeah. Well, let's see. I can't find anything. Uh, Lots of bells like, over here. And, uh, Somebody's bell collection. I can't tell you how many bell collections I see when I go to the good one. <laughs> People are always donating bell collections. All right. Well, Sue just put this on the shelf. I think it's um, Bohemia, Czech Republic. It is a full set. Crystal. In the box. That's kind of nice. Decanter and everything. Um, I like the fact that it's still in the box. It says here, seven piece. Where's the price on it? Oh, there it is, $12.49. I mean, I feel like that's worth grabbing at that price in the box you can't really go wrong and that is such an adorable little basket i have no use for it but i also really love that cactus you see the cactus there that is fun what is this oh it's made in mexico it hangs on the wall is there only one or do we see others i think there is just one <laughs> that was really fun i just like the toning of that it has a nice tone. What is this here? That is interesting. Oh, these are vegetables. And the edge is stained cranberry. I 
have to remember to get down here and check the bottom, bottom shelves. What is this in the back? That's nuts. That would have been awesome for the trippy sale. <laughs> Looks like it was originally glass and somebody coated it in really fun colors. Let's get a closer look at this bowl. A gift from FTD, of course. Of course it is. All right. What is that in the back? It has a neat pattern on it. That is a designer's collection, Aztec gold. I feel like I've seen this before because I'm obviously attracted to it. Okay, what are those? Hmm, there aren't any markings on that. Okay, so we are going to take a peek at lamps. There is a nice looking lamp back here. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. It is a cut crystal lamp, I would assume. It is nice. It's only $5.49 too. Now I'm not gonna mess with it. I have enough lamps at my shop, you've seen them. But we'll move that one out front so that somebody else can see it. I just realized there's another one of these weirdo things. <laughs> so I'm gonna grab this one too. Look at that baby, it has like a man's face. That's so freaky. Why not? Let's grab it. Then we'll have two weirdos. I think that was it. It's so funny, every time I walk by this at a different angle, I realize that I've missed stuff. I think there's so many times I've walked past this from this angle and I'm like, oh, how did I miss that? It's just, I don't know. Well, we got it. I'm going to go check out the Christmas now, the holiday stuff. Because there's a very large holiday section. So here we are in holiday. And you can see there is a lot. <laughs> there is a lot. This is really fun. I think I've looked at these before and I've actually looked them up. And I recall the resale value not being very high, but they are kind of cute. Here are some Hallmark ornaments. That reminds me, I have all those cat ornaments that I picked up last year that I need to get listed this year. I have to go through all those, make sure they match the box and get those done. What is this, Tom's Christmas? Wonderland. See, this box is not like the others, and that's kind of what <laughs> attracted me to this box. And now I want to know what's inside. Tom's Christmas Wonderland. What could it be? Let's find out together. Oh, it's a box of even more ornaments. Snow Babies and Avon. Okay, that was not as exciting as I thought it was going to be. This is cute. She's missing her wings though, 249. An angel without wings. I think I'll pass on her. I see a glass angel. Oh, there's a Fix and Floyd. I don't know how the ornaments do. I've never uh, messed with the ornaments, Fitz and Floyd ornaments before. Here is kind of a creepy ornament. Okay, let's go around the corner. There's baggies on the end cap. Gosh, I don't even see. I guess this is the Halloween right here. Right here, there's a pumpkin. That's it, that's the Halloween. Okay. Well, I think that might be it. Lots of ornaments. I did notice this fits in Floyd train. I don't know, I guess I could look it up, but I know some Fitz and Floyd is worth a lot of money and other pieces of Fitz and Floyd aren't worth anything. Um, I don't 
I did like I don't see this one being worth a ton of money and that's why I'm passing on it some of the Santa cookie jars can be worth good money what is that? oh that's a hobbyist that's actually it's pretty well made it's, t it's covered in glitter though that's the kind of glitter that gets all over your hands when you touch it yeah no they did a really good job on that and now it's on me look at that I'm shimmering. Frosty the Snowman was a jolly, happy soul. Tis the season for excessive amounts of glitter. All right. Well, I was a little curious about these, so I decided to look them up. They are J. Perez Spain, um, and there is a set of four of them. Um, they look really neat. I looked them up. I guess a set of four sells. Well, they, they were consistently selling for about eight to twelve dollars um, for this set of four. So that was kind of a bummer because they look really cool. Um, that was disappointing. I thought they were going to sell for more than that. What is this back here? A horseshoe, maybe? Those are actually glass. I'm not sure what the top line on them is, though. <laughs> Covered up by a sticker. I think it might be a horseshoe. Oh no, they're um, I've seen these before. I think they're like Greek gods. Um, down here, let's see this. This is a It's a candle holder. I really like the shape of that. I think I might grab that. It just kind of has like a mid-century style to it. I was hoping to find another one, but I only see the one, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, three dollars and forty nine cents. Stick it in my basket. Is that something that goes with it? Maybe. No, I don't think so. That's too bright and shiny. What is this? This is Luxor. It has a neat design on it. But I'm not seeing the other candle holder. Maybe that's why it was donated, because there was only one. This back here is German, I believe, $6.49. Germany, $15, Pier 1. I've actually had this one before. I think it's like a Schumach or something to that effect. I love that red. The red glaze is awesome, and I think it comes in different shapes and sizes as well. It's a pretty color for Christmas. It's not really sure at $6.50. I want to do that. What is this? Cottage Rose Fine Bone China. I think that's made to look like it is English China. It is, in fact, made in Taiwan. Okay. Well, that may be it for me. What is this? Oh, this is Longa Burger. What in the world? How much? $14.49, okay. That makes sense. I wonder how much it's worth though. Longa Burger clock basket? Maybe I'll look it up. Maybe there's still value there. I would pay $14.49 if it's worth 40 bucks. All right, well here are your three examples on Worth Point. One sold for 50, one sold for 68, and then back in 2018, which is an old comp, it sold for 30. So I'd be more apt to go with the most recent comps and say, you know what, I'll pay 14.49 for this because um, looks like it sells for over 40 bucks. So oh, heck yeah, we'll take it. Now this would probably be a buy it now. I'd probably list this as a buy it now on eBay. Here's a stack of bone dishes. Back when people had fancy dinners, they'd um, put the bone dishes on a table and uh, when they ate their uh, chicken wings, they put all the bones on the bone dish. I don't know anybody who's that fancy anymore. 
Well, it was so nice to see my friends there at the Thermont Goodwill. Um, like I said, I think it's been two or three months since I had been there last. Um, but yeah, we got some we got some nice stuff, especially when they wheeled out that fresh cart. Uh, the art glass bowl was nice. Those shard boxes should be good. Uh, they didn't have any real fun patterns, like uh, occasionally they'll have faces or animals. Those ones were just kind of florals and leaves. They're still nice. But I love when there's, you know, like a foo dog or something like that on them. Um, the, the discovery of the collapsible cups at the end, that was fun. Um, and then the longer burger basket. I think that, that was probably our most valuable find of this trip. So I'm going to get out of here now. I'm going to head on down the road to the next Goodwill. But I hope you guys enjoyed this trip to Thermont. And uh, I will see you all tomorrow. So long.